How we doing out there, YouTubers? It's uh, Whack Job here with Wacky Concepts. Visit us online at wackyconcepts.com and you can get yourself the award-winning ball of wax, uh, a magnetized, sectionalized, rhombic triacontahedron made by uh, Roger Von Eck for design, creativity, fun. You can buy any of the counterparts. Let's see, we got some Y ball here. And yeah, we got some, 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 some X ball here, a little bit. They all play together and make good, fun time stuff. That's what we primarily focus on here at Wacky Concepts. But today, we're going to do something a little different. This is going to be our first uh, gonna venture out into other out there wacky concepts. Uh, but still related to our geometry uh, and golden ratio awesome sauce exploration. Uh, today, we're going to talk about cube octahedrons. The cube octahedron is a... Geometry that has what architect and uh, awesome sauce dude Buckminster Fuller dubbed vector equilibrium in that every edge vector is equal distance. Every edge is the same. And therefore this geometry has vector equilibrium. What is so awesome about vector equilibrium, one might wonder? Well... Through vector equilibrium, this geometry has the ability to roll in and out and create all kinds of other awesome shapes. Right here, we have our cube octahedron, skeletal. Now, this has been, uh, you know, everything has to exist in two dimensions before existing in three. So, if we print this to the Euclidean, we have a central square and four equilateral triangles surrounding. Now, if we bring that from two dimensions into three dimensions, we get our cube octahedron symmetry. Now, this guy has the ability, if we lay it down right here on one of its equilateral triangle faces, we can just twist all vectors in, and we have right here the base of the tetrahedron. Uh, symmetry coming up here, minus its little cap here. We can just go ahead and put that on here. And then we've got our full tetrahedron assembled. If we continue to bring vectors inward, we can bring them down and we have our matrix of equilateral triangles. All right, had to do it. <laughs> uh, we can bring up hexagonal, uh, hexahedral rectangle here. Cubical, rectangle, hexahedron, um, and we can fold our triangles up and in from center to make a half, like our, gosh, that's a little pyramid, which is half of the octahedron, which is found within the cube octahedron. Again, we can bring up a triangle and we can bring this down like so and instead of doing the full tetrahedron we have our octahedron two pyramids base to base so that's fun you can also have yourself just a nice fun bow tie for dinner parties if you like to with your vector equilibrium um, Turn there, and we have hexagonal symmetry with our equilateral triangles. And that guy looks real good from the aerial over the flower life, eh? Good times. I'm hungry. Side note, doesn't really have a whole lot to do with anything, but it's still valid nonetheless. We can have our inverted octahedron here, kind of an hourglass shape going on. So that's fun. Um, anyway, cube octahedral symmetry and vector equilibrium is uh, just another fun little bit. So I'm going to put this off to the side. I'll grab this ball of wax right here.
All right, guys. <laughs> Can't go wrong with that. Peace out.